Today I'm going to show you how to use the Mapbox Isochrones macro for Alteryx Designer. This macro allows you to take coordinates and generate trade areas based on walking, biking, or driving profiles. You can do static generation or you can use dynamic values based on data in your workflow. It's very simple to get started. Once you've downloaded it, all you have to do is go to your Mapbox account and grab your token. And from there, all you have to do is hop over to Designer to get started. So here we have a data set consisting of coordinate pairs, lats and longs, and we're gonna open up, go from the gallery and open up our isochrones macro. So this will download it from the gallery and you'll see it behind the scenes. Uh, you're welcome to tinker with this. This is freely open, but we're just gonna use it as is. And so we'll insert macro isochrones. Uh, and you can see the configuration right here. The first thing to remember to do is to paste in your token and that will configure it properly. You then specify which cord, uh, where your coordinates are, latitude, longitude, they both need to be in doubles, um, and then your travel mode. So we're gonna say walking, driving, or cycling. Let's do driving, and you then you can pick how you want your distances or trade areas to be calculated. The first is the number of rings, and then you add uh, minutes of travel. You can go up to 60 minutes in total. So if you have four rings of 15 or one ring of 60, we evaluate the criteria, but you can't ever go beyond 60. So in this case, let's do four rings of 10 minutes. Uh, that will generate four rings at 10, 20, 30, and 40. And then if there's any reason we can't generate an isochrone for some reason, you'll see it out here. We're saying a static distance. If you have a variable in your data set where you want to generate 10 minutes or 20 minutes for a single point or 30 minutes for another point, you can do that as long as you don't exceed 60. So let's go ahead and attach some browse tools so you can see the results and hit run. Behind the scenes, this is making calls to the Isochrones API. Uh, we saw there's no failed results. Um, and here it's gonna plot those points, both the centroid and the actual Isochrone itself. And you can see here uh, which, which uh, rings you're gonna get. So here's the 10 minute one. You can see the tiny ring here on this brand new Mapbox map inside of Alteryx Designer. There's the 20 minute, 30 minute, and 40 minute ring. Now these are uh, output in both Alteryx points and Alteryx polygons. So you can do spatial operations downstream, perhaps do an intersection query with results you've geocoded with our search macro or start slicing them up or looking at overlaps. It's entirely up to you. If you'd like to know more about this macro, you can come over to our solutions page and read more about this particular macro or any of the other macros that we publish for Alteryx. If you need any other help or we can be of assistance in any way, please feel free to get in touch. There's a nice convenient link where you can contact us. Um, and if you wanna know more about the service, you can read our documentation.